his courts with praise. I will say of the Lord. So it's a progression. When we sing songs, the songs are meant to accompany you on your priestly journey. It's just our medium of expressing the incense that you need per time. The sons of Korah, they were a motley crew. They were just a choir. Every instrument was there. Drums, congas, percussions, bass guitars, everything. Trumpets. They made a lot of noise, mommy. So when you are approaching the church of David, you first hear the sons of Korah shouting. They are the ones that encourage you. I was glad when they said, let us go to the house of the Lord. So they encourage you to quicken your pace. Because there is no time you approach God that you are not faced with scorn, mockery, cynicism. They are the voices that accompany you on the journey to worshiping God. You should not be permitted to make it to God. We have already learned of a Christianity that doesn't make sense. We hate opposition and pressure. See, but priesthood, as the priesthood, that one is not, the, the priesthood is for every believer. But not every believer is called into the fivefold ministry offices. Your call is not to be a pastor. That's an insult. Electric cable, cable metal, have you, what? What do they call that company in Nigeria? Is it cable? Nokako. That cable is not the power. If you connect it to power, power will run through it. If the cable loses or is ruptured at any point, the same power that was flowing through it, making it feel like it was something, will burn it up and fry it. That's when you know that the power can electrocute, but it can also electrify. Your call is not ministry. This is not my call, oh. To gather you like this, it's not a call. This hotel was filled up with a bigger gathering last night. Three DJs. They called the party Jam Rock. From the gate to the wall, cars were parked. I think if there were a few people in this hotel yesterday, there might be three, four, five thousand. I'm not joking. The hotel had to give me a room on the other side because they told me jam rock will disturb you. The tables went for 300,000 naira. Somebody bought two tables for two million. And he alone sat there with 15 girls. I was told I didn't go so that you don't get trouble. Don't get trouble. Because there are sons of Belial here. They'll be looking at you and say, Baba DV. Do you get what I'm saying? I used to think I was a tough guy. When I landed from the car yesterday, I went to minister to the youth coppers. Just about 11, three or four or five girls were standing by where the car landed. And they saw me come out of the car. The way they looked at me, I felt like a chicken in front of hyenas. I ran away for my life. The tormentor has now found tormentors. I like to intimidate people. Well, yesterday, just with look, because they were asking, like, uh, hey, is it for the same jam rock? Let us follow you. I ran upstairs. I didn't come back down again. The last guest, I didn't even see him up. I just told them, all right, bye-bye. And I locked my door, put the bolt, and I went to sleep. So this is not ministry. That's not your call. Your call is not to do ministry. Don't waste your time. Whether you do it or not, God will do it. It is him working in you, both to do and to will. There is one call all of us are called to, the priesthood. And the priesthood is for every saint. You are called to be a saint. Your saint ministry 
is what makes your ministry anything. The moment you stop working on the saint, everything God has poured or given you as an assignment begins to die. Are you following me? The ministry will continue. That is ministry. Pastor, apostle, prophet, teacher. It will continue without you. Chintok, stand up from your seat. Go away. He has rejected his office. Immediately, Judas did it. They said his ministry or his office, let another take. The ministry, the office doesn't have his name. Oh my God. So on the day of Pentecost, he is absent from his seat. But there were 12 chosen. The Bible says 120 were in the upper room, which means out of the 12 or all the 12 produced 10. Oh my goodness. His office was producing without him. Oh Jesus. Did you get that? Judas was not on seat, but his seat produced 10. Don't kill yourself. All of you that are ministers, pastors, reverend, doctor, I beg you, don't kill yourself. If the thing is killing you, close it. No, I'm not joking. Go and sell palm oil. It's a good business. Everybody will eat from your handwork. Oh, you, did, you think I'm joking? I've told God many times. You know, we don't have to keep this charade going. Just any time you think it's... Just signal me. The Bible says he will guide me with his eye. <laughs> you don't need to prophet. Don't wait until they prophesy in public. Let him just do you like this. My mother was a master at guiding with the eye. If you had a real mother, if your mother looks at you, you write seven Bibles. A lie. Every mother is a witch. I knew it from my own mother. Not your mother. Ezekiel, I know your mother was filled with the Holy Ghost from her mother's womb. My own mother. She sit down, sir. I don't like this top here. It's good to have a son. Do you get what I'm saying? Before, before we will run up mountains and do things. But, but yesterday, no be today. <laughs> no be too, I'm learning. And then these Hilton steps, I don't know why they would do step like It's so steep. I say, Kachi, Mount Sinai. I said, Kai, Jama, let me stand on your left foot. Are you following me? Don't let the ministry kill you, Ben. I beg you. You know I can call your name. All these other men of God, I fear them. You know, that kind of thing. If you see some man of God, if you see his face, you fear. Sir, that is not the call. Your first call is to be what? A saint. In fact, your only call is to be a saint. That is the priesthood. We wear it. That's why I wore this gown. It's like a hood. Every believer is a cobra. The snake. We have a hood. And that hood protects you. You alone. If you are not protected, you will not be attractive. Oh my God. God saved you. But until you enter safety, nobody wants to be like you. So you are called to be saved or you were saved. But you have to labor to be in safety. Don't waste your time calling yourself apostle something. That word apostle is not a noun. Apostle this, prophet that. One man got tired, he said ambassador this. I said, where did you get it from? He said, he's Christ ambassador. I said to all of us, ambassadors of Christ. You see the confusion? One man said, he's elder statesman. I said, ah, how did you get that one? He said that when you operate the grace of God and you reach one level of maturity, they can't call you any office. You become an elder statesman. Meanwhile, it's one stupid little boy that gave him the title. 
Even me too. One day I went to preach somewhere and one lying spirit, prophet liar, he said, you know, the man we want to introduce today in our church is known all over the place as a singer. But we in this church, we know that he's more than a singer. He's a prophet. And the people say, yes, Bernie. He's an apostle. And the people say, yes. I say, me alone. He say, he's as an evangelist. He's a teacher. And he's an apostle. In fact, tonight, we have an elder statesman in the house. And the people stood up and said, yeah! A few weeks later, I told them God said I should start church. Then he preached a message on me. That he should have just stayed with his ministry. He's a singer. He's the one that told the people I'm an apostle, a prophet, a pastor, a teacher, elder statesman, only church. Listen to me, and he come. Listen to me. If I marry any town today, all we need to do is to be living together. One day she will born boy. One day she will born girl. Another day she will born twins. So giving birth to church is not a call. Every believer should just do it. It's natural. See, everywhere you enter PK, you should leave a church behind. How many churches, honorable commissioner, did Paul plant? Do we even know the number? They call them missionary journey. After the first journey, he now said to Barnabas, I said, Barney, let us go back to Jerusalem. But let us pass through all the churches we planted and see how they are faring. Church is not one committee. Let's form a committee and go and plant church in Nyanya. No, 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 no. If you are carrying your priesthood, the moment you enter Nyanya, they said they laid the sick. Lie, lie down. They laid the sick so that Peter passing by his shadow. No, 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 no. Stand up, sir. He didn't plan to plant church. His shadow. Oh my God. Oh my God. Do you get what I'm saying? His shadow and just his shadow. You walked in here. They don't need to announce your name. Your shadow announces you. If you came in the power of the spirit. A little girl, Catherine Kuhlman. She read it. And she asked the Lord. Pastor Mike. What if the sun is shining at two o'clock? And they mistakenly laid the sick people on the left. And Peter's shadow was on the right. So the people won't be healed. She pestered the Holy Ghost. Until he said to her, I'm not talking of Peter's shadow. He that dwelleth in the secret... Carry, carry your, your, your scarf. Hold it over me. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Almighty will abide where? Hold it over me. Come on, hold it, Chintok. Hold it like an umbrella. He will abide. There is a shadow. Listen to me. The moment you receive Jesus, an umbrella came over you. The umbrella is made of two things. The staff and the brolly. The staff is Jesus, the word of God. But the canopy is the Holy Ghost. You cannot enter rain and lift up the stick of the umbrella and then switch the, the, flick the switch and then begin to pray for the shadow to cover you. Ha -ha. What kind of nonsense is that? As you lift up the staff and you press that button, naturally, the shadow comes. It is the shadow that is the issue, and The shadow is the issue. It will come, but in a measure. And God expects you 
to work it to expand it and most of us carry a shadow that we don't cultivate so Catherine Kuhlman God told her he said the shadow can be worked and the shadow is designed to grow and the shadow is designed to grow as far as you want as far as you want this is your shadow the disciples asked him to give grow their faith increase my faith that's the wrong question When somebody dies and you want to raise them back to life, it doesn't just happen because you ate a bar. Stop asking for things you are not ready for. You haven't worked faith for something as tiny as Chungong. And you are telling God, I, I, I don't want Pastor Baba to die. Father, raise him from the dead. Just like that. The demons told the sons of Sceva, Jesus, we know. No, no. They didn't say we were told. We know. That means he has taught them a lesson. Then Paul, we, know we, have, we, have, we have been told about and we have experienced him, so we know him too. Then the question was, I said to you, if God be for you, why? So now the demons, after they announced the two people known in heaven and on earth, they ask you to kai wae kai. One demon possessed person beat seven able bodied young men, sons of one father. If a demon possessed person, <laughs> if you see, run unless you have something. If you don't have it, leave. So who was it that was thinking about is my father? It was you that was saying something about the father. And immediately he said that to me. As I sat here, immediately I heard it. I just knew the direction the meeting will go tonight. And that's why I'm telling you. Every fatherless spirit tonight is cursed. Amen. Amen. Do you know fatherless spirit Adadu is, is the spirit that gets believers to just mess up Every time you see somebody do something wrong, he just felt like he had nobody. You know when you say, I have nobody, they give you a cigar, you will collect. They give you a gogoro, you need fire to run down your throat. Because you are fatherless. But a cobra never loses his hood. It's a priest hood. You are called to be a saint. In fact, Amongst all of us, Jesus elected me to be the head pastor. Tonight I'm the senior pastor, chief executive, pioneer, founder, president of nothing. Because everything is his own. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I said of nothing. Nothing my own is his own. Thank you, my son. Thank you. See that little boy claim this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least he heard something. Not like some of you. You didn't hear anything. And Kingsley, Kingsley said, thank God, English was not the chosen language. But I know the language that we speak in heaven. Because Jesus is coming down at Kagoro. Shut up. Sit down. Sit down. Nonsense. All Angas people are drunkards. We drink in Kagoro, but Angas people, their own. Kai! Come and sit down, nonsense. You know, Angas people and Tarok people, they were doing competition to drink Burkutu. Then in the morning, when they were to do the, the competition will be tomorrow. So one young man came from Pangshi and he was walking like this. He's already drunk. Oh. So when he got to Lantang, the people said to him, who are you? He said, no, that uh, they sent him from Pangshi. To ask, is the competition still going to hold? He was already drunk. 
Then they said, okay, sit down, yes. Then they gave him a little pot of brukutu. He was already drunk. He finished it. Then they gave him another one. Then he finished it. Then they gave him a keg. And he finished it. And then when he stood up, they said to him, are you okay? He said, is there more? So they now asked him, are you the champion of Pangshin? He said, no, he's their junior brother. <laughs> that he's the one they sent. Can you imagine? Then the Lantern people said, if you are the messenger, we don't want to see the champion. <laughs> All of them in Pangshin, when they stand, this is how they stand. Because they don't have balance again. See Chin Tok, the last person that drank in his house was his great grandfather, but he's still drunk. <laughs> That's how far the anointing is. Don't let me talk about stone. No. Uh, so let's just leave, let's just leave it at Chin Tok. Don't you see King, Kingsley? You know that his grandfather used to they used to wake up with a bottle of Ogogoro, number one. Let's not talk about Ogogoro, but let's let's talk about this priesthood. Listen to me. That spirit, that frustration that comes to us, that makes us abandon our priesthood and our sainthood, tonight it is cursed. Every fatherless spirit loses its potency, its power, its influence, its capacity and ability to truncate your journey to dis to distract you it loses that power tonight the only secret of your victory is knowledge now you know that he just called you to be his daughter come you are just his what no hold me do like a daughter uh -huh. you are just his daughter this is how i hold my daughter this is how I hold my son. He's taller than me. He's somewhere there. I punch him. And he enjoys me punching him. My daughter loves it when I punch. In fact, my daughter, if my daughter sees me coming sometimes, say, Daddy, Daddy, to, 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 Daddy, Daddy. She's the only one that knows I'm up to mischief. Because she's my daughter. It's a generational curse. And I, I don't need deliverance from it to visit torment upon her to oppress and harass her because one day she will come and tell me he is here and I will say who and she will say him which him is it a hymnal in the Baptist hymnal or equa hymnal so before the rascal comes let me exact my pound of flesh sometimes I harass my wife my son and my daughter and they, they run out of the house and leave me alone they go and stand on the main road and say come i say i'm not coming come back because they know i don't want to disgrace myself in public so, so, so listen to me i'm not joking that fatherless spirit that is a spell you too you know it it comes all the time and it makes you just waste everything you you just do la la chi. It's cursed. I said it's cursed. Tonight. It's not going to be cursed. And the only secret is knowledge. Because now you know his name. The fatherless spirit. So every time you are beginning to feel careless. Just say, to, 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 I've seen you. You have come again. Then you remind him. I have a father. He calls me his own. He calls me his own. I'm singing in one key. You are singing in another key. Yes. Before even time began. My life was in his hands. My life was in his hands. He knows, he knows my name. He knows my name. My every he knows my every thought. He sees each tear that 
for He sees each tear that falls And He and hears me when I call I call Go no, no, say He hears us when we call Say He hears me He hears me when I call Somebody said He hears me when I call Say the Lord is our shepherd. He is who? Who will not want? I. He didn't say me and my wife. He had a darling. He didn't say I am my honey. No, 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 no. The wife was saying I will not lack. The husband was saying I. Zechariah said the priest will worship his own separate, his wife separate, his children, each of them. There's a place where you have to be individual. He anoints who? My. And whose cup is running over? My own. Say it. My God. That is your call. You have an identity with him. You are wasting too much time with people. That's why you are stranded. Get out of that ship. And enter into another place. Jesus didn't talk about us. My father. Hey. I'm he know everything I do is what I hear him say. The father too came and said, This is my beloved son. In whom I, I, not us. If you don't like Jesus. God has already said, the father said, in whom I am. He doesn't care about what you think about him. Uh -uh. All these waste of time. Don't let them kill you in that church. Room. If the thing gets too much, I will call me. And I will tell you what to do with them. They're just all these rascals. You sit down, you start church, then you begin to have trouble because you started church. What kind of nonsense is that? Just leave it and tell the people, please, 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 carry you. Go and plant another one. In fact, you can plant ten on the way to Kano. We don't, we don't understand. That's why. I met a commissioner of police. Sorry, why did I tell you the rank? Because now you will know. And he said to me, man of God, I'm, I'm headed to Sosu Place. I've been posted there to go and take over. And he said, I know you. I listened to you in Winners. Then I now moved to Latarine, and you came there again. He said, bless me, pray for me. And I prayed for him. He said, because by the grace of God, everywhere they posted me, I left behind the church. He said, uh -uh. <laughs> police. Hey. My son, Elisha, entered police. Every time I see him, I say, police is your friend. If you have 20 naira. He said, no, the police has moved up now. They want 200. <laughs> now, do you get what I'm saying? To hear that police is planting church everywhere he is posted. He plants a fellowship. I said to him, your life will never begin. Talk less of ending. So, some people become bank manager. He's a bank manager. You go and say to her, anything, hey, sister, my sister, please, I have a business. I just want to buy 50 poultry chickens and then nurse them. Here's my plan. All I need is 15,000 naira to buy the chickens and the food that will mature them for sale. She said, ah, so what do you want? I need a loan. Ah, no, 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 don't come here. I'm talking about loan here. You know all these people, their eyes are on me. That's a Christian. It's always Christians that are talking that rubbish. They are watching me. Who is they? How did a cobra lose his hood? Sir, when a cobra sees you, he breaks his... Oh, my goodness. 
Oh, and they are majestic. You see him moving, checking you. He's, if you come within striking distance, he said, Hood. Catherine Kuhlman expanded her shadow. It got to two kilometers. Do you know what that meant? When she's in Hilton, everything two kilometers radius bowed to Jesus. One day, drunkards were in a bar and they decided that this silly girl is in town. The barman gave everybody drinks to be drunk. Then they went and brought baseball bats, all kinds of weapons, whiskey bottles, and they said, let's go inside and scatter the meeting. And they all entered and walked to the front and came to give their lives to Christ. Just a common girl. It's one girl. Oh. And then you are sitting down, waiting for the angel of the Lord to come to your house and say, Tom, Tommy miss. So he will call you like they call you in your village. Tommy miss. So now an Akira Zunaka. Do you want to die before you know I've called you? That's not, you were called to be a saint. You are not a music minister. What's a music minister? You want to be a music minister? But as a Karakaji nightclub, huh? go and be competing with DJ Icebreaker. MC Disaster. You know me now, if I leave church today, I know the name I will take just to go to Sharp Corner Hotel. That's all. I've told people I will never be broke. I can never be. I saw something. If you don't want me in the church, uh, Mike, I will just do it Do you understand what I'm saying? I can even sing that one. And I just gather choir people with Kalangu. What is music ministry? There's no ministry like that. I said there's no ministry like that. Sit down, sit down. I've not told you anything yet. I've not told you anything. You know, we, we used to dance. Every time I come, we'll dance and sing. You are carrying your book. I hope you are not leaving. Because you, you can only walk out if you have something superior. Now, I'm telling you the truth. Though. Sometimes what you are hearing is life and death. Oh, he told me some things. Not only fatherless spirit he has caused to. Tonight, I saw, I've not heard that kind of thing before. You know what he said to me? He said, today I bring to an end fake pregnancy. I was just sitting down listening to you, you people. Fake. I've seen before. People have needed a child so badly that the symptoms came upon them of pregnancy. If I had not experienced it, fake pregnancy. Everything you carry, every desire you have that is not granted, that brings fake symptoms upon you, they distort you. People have even had distended stomach and they thought they were pregnant. Oh my God. I came with an authority tonight. He didn't tell me before now. It's just now as I was listening to these people. He said to me, I'm ending fake pregnancy. Even, even if the pregnancy is the burden to birth a church, even if the pregnancy is a burden for you to just do one little righteousness, do you understand me? Some of us, like me, it's impossible for me to do a little righteousness. No, no, wait. Let me demonstrate it. Let me demonstrate it. Pastor Mike, come back. You are tall. I need somebody that is short and smaller. Come, 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 come my son. No, no, that baby, come. Come, yes. Yes. Pastor, please climb up the stage. Can you climb these steps? Okay, go. <laughs> You follow, follow your daddy up. And two of you stand here. I want you to see something. Righteousness can look... No, don't hold him. You are two independent people. Yes. Everybody will answer his father's name. Righteousness can be as big as Reverend Mike. 
And righteousness can be as small as a tiny poop. Poop. In the face of God, they are both righteousness. He has to receive you, perfect you, and accept you for you to be acceptable. Even if your righteousness is this big or this small, it is the people who have a righteousness like this, like me. Do you know how I learned to pray? I will keep clock. Because every time I pray, I will be sweating. I will believe that I prayed for one hour. Then when I put the clock, well, I five minutes. Then I will hear people giving testimonies in fellowship by the grace of God. Hallelujah. I say, by the grace of God. You can even hear the prayer voice. We prayed for four hours. And after four hours, we felt on the inside a hunger. And then we prayed again. So when you hear those kind of people, I decided that I should not be using clock so that I can see my progress. Or life for weeks. The car nikke kai ten minutes. I'm not sure. and I will be sweating. How many of you are like me? <laughs> because if you don't raise up your hands, all these people will think that I'm a wicked man. So you see that my clan is many. So I kept the clock, and then I had a problem. How can you be praying and looking at the clock when everywhere you go, shall we pray? Bow down your head and close your eyes. The other day in the Owere Crusade, I said, close your eyes, and some people didn't. Fifteen of them went blind. So, when you hear those kind of testimonies, you know you have to close your eye and pray. <laughs> then the Lord showed me something. He said, watch and pray. So, ah, that was all. So, I'll keep a clock. I was watching the clock according to the instruction of the world. Can you man die? Thank you, sir. Please come, come. Thank you. Clap for them. I will tell you the reason why I'm going like this tonight. Because the conference has changed. You know, before I came in last week, the Lord said to me, don't you think that one day is not sufficient? To teach, worship, and prophesy. It's not. So he said to me, I think we should have two days. So that on Saturday, we teach and worship a little. Then on Sunday, it was a prophetic rally. What do you guys think? Praise God. Now, all of you that clapped, you must drop something. Because man shall not live by bread alone. But at least man shall live by bread. <laughs> and you know one of the names of money is bread. Before you get bread for that, don't mind me. It's, our generation is different from your own. I said the name of money is bread. Some of you are thinking, Kai, bread? In our time, our lie, it was bread. Shopee. He, he said to me, fake pregnancy. One evangelist made us to pray in Zaria Stadium. He's an Igbo evangelist. He said, there's one last prayer tonight. By the grace of God, I'm going to lead you in that prayer. Anything I say in Igbo, say Mba. Everybody say Mba. I say, say Mba. Then he said, Okamanaro. Okamanaro. He said, some of you, you are always beautiful, only in your dream. Then when you wake up, you are war war. So tonight, to be fine only in your dream, say mba. Mba. So, so, <laughs> some people don't have food to eat. It's only when they are sleeping. In reality, during the day, there's no gari to smoke. That's a curse. From today, fake pregnancies. That is dreams that never come to fruition. It's a curse in your life. 
free of charge. Just because you came into my shadow. And the shadow of everyone that sat, stood up here and ministered. And the shadow of all of you that are seated. I'm not joking. You will see it. Oh, no, 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 no. You didn't hear me. Before you can ask for God to raise your dead, you have to have walked in faith sufficient for you to say, I want this. The centurion said to Jesus, Sir, I've been watching you. Everything you ask for is done. As you see me like this, I don't wear uniform for nothing. I understand your rank in that army. And the, peop the, the army you belong to. You know, when you use kingdom, people think it's one yeah, yeah. mystical word. Hey, the centurion no 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 kingdom. He just they talk about army. He's a soldier. He said, I'm a centurion, which means I have command over a hundred. By the grace of God, if I say come, all those hundred begin to ask which one of us. Are you following me? And me too. If my ogre of 1,000 shouts, all of us that are over 100, we bush it. So I've watched you. Everything you ask for, they give you. And I've been wondering why. Then I realized, in your language, your commander-in-chief has a unique special place. You always say, my father, my father, what me I'm hearing is my ogre, my ogre, That's my it. ogre. That's it. So because you are submitted, everything under you is submitted. Yeah. Then he said, and in the barrack where I come from, sergeant cannot, cannot tell the inspector to come to his house. No, if sergeant wants to give inspector something, using, we are bringing it. Yes. It's the inspector that has to say. And if the inspector says, I'm coming to your house, you say, no, 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 you don't need to now. Zamu kaumaka. Me and my wife will cook it and bring it to your house. Out of respect. Then he told Jesus, you don't have to. Come. Just give the instruction. Yeah. Then Jesus said, eh? What kind of faith is this? And you are not even a Jew. So what is faith? You think faith is to mount your desire. Eh, Lord, no, Lord, Lord. No, 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 no. Faith is when you have observed God. And you have made a record of his works. And the way he works. Then you have put it in your heart. And now decided based on these things I have seen what shall I do that's what's called faith when your observations of God produce intentions on the inside of you that you are ready to execute see another example the woman was oozing blood for 12 years she stood she had been to many crusades she stood there watching this man. He healed the blind, healed the lame, spoke words of wisdom that brought liberty to all kinds of prisons. And she said, eh? Is it possible? I've been praying on this matter for 12 years and I have not obtained answer. And I know many like me. In fact, our lives are full of unanswered prayers and then here is God he has brought an open door Ben stand up open your hands stand stand let them see you this is the open door listen John in the book of revelations will see this door he said I heard a voice behind me like the one I heard before it was the sound of many waters and when I turned to see I saw a door standing up in heaven it's an open door standing up. It was not a door John saw. It's Jesus he saw. But what he saw was a door. Every prayer answered. Every city given. Every people given. Every Who needs to submit has submitted. 
Because in him, all the promises and prayers, the promises of God and the prayers of his people, they are what? Yea, and in him is the open door. No man can shut. That's what that woman saw. Then she said, wait, 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 wait. This is power passing. This is a river flowing. When you scoop water from a river, the level does not drop. Who burn you? Even if it's a stream. You can never take water and say, see, I've reduced it. Hmm. There's a channel. That's what she saw. So she was not waiting for them to say, then Jesus will get to the point and say, Baba, she, Baba, 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 the anointing is here. If you are sick, rise up and place your hand on the place that is paining you. No, some places you can't touch it in public. Do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> so, when evangelist realized that, he said, okay, just lay your right hand on your chest, even if it's not your chest. <laughs> no, no, do you get what I'm saying? Jesus didn't come to Lazarus' grave, grave and say, oh, Baba, Alagbada, you know, Ia Yengiji, Gagara Misali. No, no, that's not what he said. He didn't even ask God at the grave of Lazarus. Now give me power to raise the dead. Hey! He said, I only raised my voice so that these ones will know. Oh my God, that's what he told me this week was going to be. So that they will know that this kind of relationship exists. Where your son can talk to you and know your will. That's why Jesus prayed. Then he turned around and said, Lazarus, come out. It was not the shout that made Lazarus come out. In fact, some of the most powerful things we say, they are whispered, but they are very powerful. There's nobody that has ever told the girl, what's your name? Eh? Grace. Nobody has ever come to toast and say, oh girl, I love you. Even the girl would think that you are, you are sick. He said, oh, oh girl, I really love you. <laughs> eh? It's a whisper, but it travels to the heart. <laughs> you don't say to a girl, I appreciate the gift you gave me for Valentine. <laughs> I really love that. <laughs> thank, thank you, sweetheart. You whisper. Look at how you are laughing now. Anytime they are talking love matter. <laughs> Sit down, Grace. That is also how, when you want to abuse your husband in public, women know how to cool down. Then they whisper. Is that all you can, you can do? Do you understand me? Then you see a man jump up. Jump up. What is it? Then people will come and say, Why are you shouting? And you hear her say, people, Help me ask him. Sit down, man. Sit down. She, she will say, We were whispering. No, 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 no. Some whisper is stronger than thunder. Before you marry a wife, find out what she says when she's whispering. Because that's what will be making you explode like a volcano. Me! And then she will say, she ask him, why is he shouting? That's how he disgraces us as a family. No, he's not disgracing you. It is the little... <laughs> eh? And I advise women that when they want to talk to their husband, no, sit down, sit down. They should inject their tongue and reduce the poison before you shoot the man. Because men are made to look like concrete, but we're not that strong. Well, like two people alone can get to our heart and we will scatter the Holy Spirit and your wife. And both of them are called your helper. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> Hallelujah. That's Paracletus. That's your helper. He's your helper. Your, your standby. Your extra tank. You, you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So don't kill your husband. In fact, many men become impotent. Not because they can't perform. Because of the words they hear. A man has struggled, struggled, struggled. Then he says, is that all you can do? Well, he will never move again. Then when he goes to office, anything passing, even if it's a fly, if he wears skirt, he will not be moving there. And then he will not come and say, don't mind him. That's how he's disgracing himself, sleeping with small, 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 small girls. Why won't he sleep with small, small? You're even locking his small, small. He would have slept with tiny, 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 tiny girls. <laughs> because of your mouth. Uh, uh, God is good. You are called to what? Be a saint. A believer. That's your call. And being a believer, you plant churches everywhere. And all the things you plant, they thrive. And I tell you how it is done. I show you from scripture. I'm not going to keep you next next month. When when is the date for next month? 19th. So we have to look for 18 and 19. Because Saturday and Sunday. Kaganiwa. That's how we have to do it. But we will shift it to the end of the month. Mm -hmm. We are going to get six months in advance. So that you know the dates ahead. See, this year is a special one. Don't worry yourself that eh, I will not be able to go to Baba DV because our convention, cancel the convention for your church. You have been attending every year. This one is just for this year. He told me 12 months being Kaduna, Lagos, and Abuja. 12 months of the year. Once. So, it's a prophetic journey. See, I told them on 1st January, I said, 2020 is going to be the fastest year you have ever lived. And from 2020 to 2025, the speed will be so much that five years will pass and you'll be thinking in six months. Now, listen. In this, this just three months, old, America and Iran almost brought the, war, the world to a nuclear holocaust. Did, did, you, did you hear me? Within the first few weeks, Donald Trump had killed that general. And F, F, Iran mistakenly sent some missiles in retaliation. Mistakenly. If America just... And you know Trump now. You know Trump. They say, why did he kill al-Baghdadi? He didn't even answer. They said, this general, whether it's Suleiman or Suleiman or Suleiman, whatever you call it, why did you kill him without permission? He said, the guy was a nuisance. Ah, ah. The Nancy, Nancy, whatever her name is, got angry. She tore his speech. There's nothing to do. That's Donald Trump. That means, I know, I know even notice, na dog, Match Naira. If dog match Naira, he goes to tell you, say, Ka, no, attacker, could he? No, dog doesn't know. So, and it's now we hear that over a hundred American troops have brain trouble because of those missiles that Iran threw. And Trump, in the midst of Corona, is telling everybody that Iran has not escaped yet. Oh. Corona too is in Iran and he's in America. And Donald Trump is, de everybody is dealing with Corona. I don't know how people name diseases. Corona was one car before. If you get her, <laughs> Toyota Corona. Not be everybody, they buy that car. You must be somebody. I didn't say somebody. Somebody. Corona. Then Corolla. They say you get one beer now, they call it Corona. That people are running away from drinking it in Europe. Because they are suspecting that the virus is inherently inside the bottle. <laughs> At least that's good. There are more sane people in the world. Just this year, within the first three, four, five weeks, 
we were on the brink of a holocaust and guess what you know check the world though. Jews have a saying my brother me and my brother we fight when we don't have work but when an enemy comes against us we automatically unite yeah. to fight there that's what the Jews do all the European nations say they don't like Trump immediately he killed the general they were even challenged why did you do it without telling us that angel in Germany and then all those people they were shouting then Iran threw missiles all the European nations say with America we stand don't, don't, yeah. wa don't waste your time that's how easy it is for the world to, to self destruct if, if, if Trump threw missiles the European nations would have stood with him are you following me I'm trying to wrap, wrap up the thing so I'm looking for the door inside because it's an open door I've not forgotten where I was the woman with the issue for 12 years and I'm talking to you about faith because I'm talking to stranded visions ministries and missions things that God has given you that are stranded God told me to bring you release not only to you but to me too I brought it but I'm trying to tell you, don't ask for what is not being given. You get what I'm saying, sweetheart? Because it's whatever you bind on earth, it should be what has been bound where? <laughs> if it has not been bound, ask for something that you can handle. This is, these are the, de this is the decade of speed. If you are 40, you will be 50 before you they call Jack Rabbit. If you are 50, you will be 60 in no time. If you are 20, don't waste your time. It will be like four days and you already be 30. Then you will be asking, oh boy, how far? Because at 20, you are already saying, oh Lord, oh Lord, nobody is asking me to marry them. If, if 2020 pass without, eh, eh, it will soon be 2030. So if you were feeling de desperate at 20, you can imagine how you feel at 30. And the 30 will pass like breeze. Just, just watch it. You will not know when you'll be saying it's November of 2020. Yeah, yeah. When you stand on the 31st of this year, you will know that you are in a high-speed train. And he told me to tell you. He actually sent me for three things. To disciple the nation. Because he said, make disciples of every nation. And I asked him, were you talking proverbially? Or are you talking specifically? Are you saying that Nigeria can be discipled? Can your tribe change? Can you go to Kagoro and not find Burkutu? And everybody is sober. No, no, no. My people are not sober. They are only sober when they are high. Every year, we, we, we compose a new song in my town. And everybody sings it. And nobody knows who composed it. But it is number one on the charts. You just see, people, people go for drinking binge, 20 kilometers. They are trekking. They are beating the drum in their mind with their mouth. And they will stop and say, Kai, Zai Brovana They are talking to themselves. Then they will start again. They are greeting each other. And they are trekking 20 kilometers. Drinking and 20 kilometers back. I used to have an auntie. When she comes back around 4.35, you hear her by the palace. And she will stop there. And she has this song she always sings. 
cut slim fat is slippers she's talking to. When I leave the house, I wear you. When I'm returning, you become so heavy, I have to carry you on my head. She's talk every day. She returns with the slippers on her head. And she will drop it and sing for it. Then she will carry it and put it on her head because it's too heavy. So, can that happen? That's what saints are called to do. Not pastors, not apostles, not prophets. Any saint can disciple his nation. Early in this ministry, nobody was inviting me. I didn't know. Nobody was inviting me. And see, because I have too many scandals in my life. And so if somebody doesn't invite you, you create your own meeting. So I started creating meetings. This not, this, it's not now I started filling up halls. So. I just go to any place and just call the people and say, I'm doing meeting. They say, what for? I say, come now, let me tell you. <laughs> I've done meetings where 10 people came. And nine of them stood by the door. And I preached from the one in front to the nine at the door and came back and I was talking to the chairs. I thought I was mad. Then I read Yongicho's story. Yongicho has the largest single assembly in the world. And you know when he started at Adu, the people will stand by the window and he'll be talking to empty chairs. His wife and children were in front. He'll be telling the chairs, I will send all of you to the world. When I'm done with you, you will infiltrate. So they started telling each other, come and see this madman. He's preaching to empty chairs. And then any money he gets that week, he will add more chairs. So after some time, he put bench by the wall. Then the people that came first to the window entered and sat on the bench to hear him preaching to empty benches. So when the others come, they will tell them, now we can first come, go to the next bench. That's how they filled up the church until they came. <laughs> it's not church, church growth formula. There's no formula. Stop following fad. Find God. Wear your hood and walk in it. Oh my God. It's so simple. See what I'm doing now. No stress. I'm telling you, there's no stress. Do I look stressed? I'm just talking any kind language, self. I'm abusing you and you are laughing. There's no stress. Anytime. The woman saw the open door and said, This is power. This is just free course. Do you understand me? And she said, what am I wasting time for? I can't even wait for him to say, the anointing is here. Hey, That's breeze. When the anointing is there, people see into the spirit. Receive that grace tonight. For when you stand, for people to burst in, into visions, indelible visions, unquestionable visions clear visions decipherable visions you don't have to stand and minister and then now tell the people open your eye you will see eh -eh. when you carry it people see it even words that describe the painting vividly receive it now the bible calls them right words Oh, 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 I said right words. Somebody needs to get it. It is a curse for you to go for interview and fail. Is it no question they're asking you? And you will answer. Goliath made the mistake of talking. He said to Saul, Saul, why are you sending me this little rat? Then he said to the rat, come. I swear to my God, I will stab you with a spear and lift you up like a lizard so that the vultures will eat you off. And he could do it. He had the muscle to lift up David. Then David said, ah, you made a mistake. He gave some apostle, some prophet, some evangelist, some he gave mouth. If you had just fought without talking, 
you would have won. But now that you have moved it to mouth, he said, let me tell you, you come against me with sword and spear and stick. I come against you in the... Then he said, lift up your eyes, Goli. And you know, Goliath looked up. You see these vultures? They will eat your flesh today. Today, I will, He will give you into my hands. That's what he said. He will give you into my hands. I will cut off your head and lift it up in this battleground. You will fall, these birds. And Goli was looking at the birds. Because when it comes to words, it's, it's the power of a painter. Paintbrush. You paint victory. You paint defeat. I said, receive right words. I know your pastor doesn't know the gift, so he can't give you. So you better receive, receive it and stop pretending that you know. I said, receive right words. And don't just receive right words. Receive the ability to fit them. Words that are fitly spoken. Sir, this is a chair. If you break the iron, you can turn it into a pot. What you fit is what you get. So, wood can, be, can form table. It can form chair. It can form walking stick. It can form baton. Next time you go for an interview, sweetheart, if it is interview, if the thing is a talking matter, one word from you. That is the gift that operated in Jesus. They said, and Jesus knew what was in their mind. And then he gave them the answer. That is the gift that Paul used to divide his accusers. The Bible says, he said to the king, most noble king, I'm, I'm glad to make my defense before no other person than you. Then he said to the king, it is, I mean to the centurion, it's for the hope of Israel, yeah, to the king, the hope of Israel that we will be resurrected. That's why they are trying to kill me. And then the Pharisees now said, ah, if it's resurrection, well, what are we doing here? Because they believe in the resurrection. And the Sadducees say, there's nothing like resurrection. That's how the accuser scattered. The court scattered. It's called right words and the ability to fit them. Speak them fitly. To join them. To create the picture. Some of you pastors, ministers, you want to tell people about hope. And you are saying the word hope, but the people are seeing hopeless. You are saying hope, they are seeing hopeless. There's something wrong now. I say disconnect. Collect it tonight. I said collect it tonight. Those of you in politics, collect it. Everybody is saying I will help you. But the people are not hearing help. So why are you saying the right words? The fact. But it is not translating to truth. One day somebody said I'm angry with you. I said why? He said, because you'll just be saying, he's a lamb, he's a lion, he's a lamb. He said, and we will sing it and we can't finish it. He said, it's really annoying him. There is no verse one or verse two or verse three. I said, talk. That's how me too I saw with him bold. He did 100 meters, nine point something. I said, Abba, it's very easy. He wasn't here. I said, I can do it. You can do it when you are sitting on your couch and watching it on television. As if the television heard me. So they slowed it down, slow motion. Then I saw Usain Bolt said. When I saw the effort, I said, come on, I can't do it. Do you understand what I'm saying? How many of you have seen Messi score? And you say, oh, but that's very easy. Until they gave you ball. Then you fell down trying to press it so that it will stand up. That's why you don't say, oh boy, not be joke. Do you understand me? All of us are footballers when we are sitting on our couch. If I pass him to Ronaldo now, why well, look at your yeah, man, see empty goal, see net. How did they put you? <laughs> one day we played the next street. We were playing with one street. And one of my brothers, he can run, eh? especially when you don't shark. So we told him, we said to what we are going to do in this game 
is because do that, 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 that other street they get some deadly strikers so we say okay we'll just put the ball on the run and then you just run like Gurugu. nobody can catch you then you just go and wire because we knew nobody can catch him Talk. but he doesn't run like that until he sharks and the problem with shark is there's no gauge <laughs> you cannot tell when you have just sharked enough so on this day now he overcharged and then it rained so we put the ball on the run Jacob he took up then he passed the ball <laughs> and he was sliding till he entered the net the ball okay <laughs> so we said okay okay he said Karkudamu Asaki Samu so we still played again, played again. Then we now put the ball on the round. Sake, he took off again. This time he didn't fall and slide, but he passed the ball because water was slowing the ball. Do you understand me? After some time, we said, Kai, if you like this strategy, no go work. We started looking for a substitute. <laughs> that girl saw the open door. And she knew that they don't need to make an invitation. If you want to be healed, come out now. Uh -uh. She broke protocol. That is the reason why Pentecostals, when we hold meetings, you see people stand up. Now we have turned it into, yeah, yeah. People only stand up like that when they have seen something. They are collecting something. The girl now said to herself, I'm going to break protocol. I will break the circle of his disciples. I will break the security cordon. I am going to press through. Only one thing. I don't need him to talk to me. Because she saw that this thing was available. Blind man said, if you will, let me see. Jesus said, is it about my will? Okay, let me tell you the will of God is that you see. And the guy saw no touch because the question if you will if you are willing some of us still pray the prayer today if you are willing oh god willing he has already said it then the girl pushed protocol pushed security pushed disciples and she got to his dress and touched it and immediately she touched it madam see what she did she just turned around and started going. No, 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 no. That's fate. If it is not like that, it is not fate. Fate induces you to act and then react without. With faith. I don't have to tell you, do something you have never done before. Bend down, check your back. If your back is healed, check the symptom. Uh -uh. The girl touched his garment and she turned to go. Then she felt a hand in her womb locking the tap. She didn't even know there was tap there before. Pompo. Somebody now locked the pump. She felt it dry. You know, evangelists will tell you, go to the toilet and check it and see if it's still there. And she didn't need to. It, when she went to the toilet, it was to throw away her menstrual rags. She didn't wear another one and walk home to see whether there was still any trickle. Uh -uh. She felt the lock. Then Jesus was the one who stopped and said, who touched me? Then you know Piro now. You see, you, see, you see your problem. All of us are touching each other. And you say, who touched me? Jesus said, Pharaoh, shut up. Not be that kind. Your own touch, no be touch. Uh, this, this one, not touch. Then he explained what happened. Virtue left me. It is virtue that is coming to you tonight. To quicken. To energize. Some of you have 20-year-old dreams, 30-year-old dreams, 10-year-old dreams that have not come to pass. It's a lie. Tonight, I connect you with your dream. 
I turned the dream to a vision. A vision is not what you see. A vision is what you did, you built, you do. That's why he said your sons will, will, your old men will dream dreams and your sons will what? You'll see vision. See vision means the young will build the dream. They will build the dream. A vision is what has already stood. Do you see that hand? Lift it up. Do you see this hand? There's a horn of light. Habakkuk saw it in your hand, your palm, your own. Touch your palm. Horns of what? Light. He called it the hiding place of God's creative power. Whoa. Abortion is not a spirit that should follow you. Everything these hands touch, they live. I say everything you touch, it lives. These are the days when a grandmother and a grandfather will outrun a teenager. Because if the teenager doesn't see it and the grandfather sees it, so be it. Can you imagine, mommy, Abraham was buying pampas for babies. Isaac, his son, was also buying pampas. One woman said, pray for me that God will bless me. I said, okay, you are blessed. I said, you are so blessed that you even give birth to children. She said, ah, no, pastor, I'm 65. Why should I? I said, ah, you said you want God to bless you. That's what happens when God comes to your house. A 99-year-old man gets a child. The blessings of God, they make you embarrassed. If it is not God, if it has not embarrassed you, it's not God. I'm asking you, in this season, take a step from your chair. You have entered into an embarrassing situation. I'm telling you the truth. This step you took, it permitted God to embarrass you. Amen. Sit back. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. Everything the doctors told you is a lie. This step you took has brought you to embarrassing moments. And I'm not using bold face. I'm just telling you as it is. Sit down. Some people just wait for you to say stand up. And then that's when they think they can leave. And I'm always laughing. I'm always laughing. Pentecostals, they had the greatest problem. Meanwhile, the Pentecostal movement was one of the greatest gifts that God gave the earth. It was when Pentecost came that men began to worship. The church has never worshipped God like when the Pentecostal move came. Look at the kind of worship we entered in tonight. Do you know Charles Wesley, if you read some of these people, their stories, the kind of wahala they went through to sing some of those hymns. And look at these guys. All of you received Victoria Orenze. Orenze, this is her sister. Do you understand me? Yeah. She's the one that sang Imela with uh, Nathaniel Bassi. She's a mother and a wife. And very humble, very quiet. When she said to me, she landed in Abuja today, I started laughing. Yeah, yeah, I don't hammer, I don't hammer. She said, but I'm leaving first thing in the morning. I said, one hour is enough. First thing they tip somebody, wife, do you need two hours? One hour. <laughs> Because you are a thief. Just one hour. Who is looking for 10 hours? Do you get what I'm saying? Then I now encourage her. I say, Chin Talk is even around your brother. In fact, I told them to put their rooms near each other. So she said, hey, okay, okay, okay. Then when I told Chin Talk, I said, any tongue is any tongue is right. She said, ah. She said she was coming. You know, he's shocked. Because to move her is not easy. It's not easy. That's faith. Faith. The woman saw the open door. The open door will be spoken about in Revelations chapter 1. But she was not in Revelation yet. They are in Matthew. And she just said, if I may board. Jairus said, follow me home. Lay hands on my daughter and she shall be well. The woman with the issue of blood. Jairus is the head of the church. He's the pastor. But he said, unless you follow me, 
That, that one no get fit for anything. In fact, as he was standing there, they said, don't trouble her, she don't die. <laughs> Jesus had to pull him back and said, Dao, stop. <laughs> stop the unbelief. Just keep on believing. Because Jesus knew that any man that believes in him, though he were dead, yet shall he live. So, we already prayed before you came and I must rehearse the prayers for you again. That this is the night to recover lost treasure. That your soul is a treasure. Some of us have lost our soul because we have been distracted and we have lived, left the ministry of sainthood and we have entered into all kinds of things. And because this, this saint is destroyed, every other thing you build is destroyed. But tonight, recover your soul. Yes. Recover the knowledge of how valuable you are. That he left 99 to find you. That's how precious you are. If, if that's all you recover tonight, and you stand up and say, I'm my father's daughter. I'm my father's son. If that's all you recover tonight, is sufficient. One woman turned every chair every bed in her house swept everything with the hard broom and with the softer broom she was looking for a coin a treasure that's how it is tonight god is upturning everything in your cart he's even scattering your theology some of you are upset about the things i'm saying because you have believed christ differently it doesn't matter embrace the new because as i'm talking your heart is enjoying it even though you don't agree, you, you are feeling, can it be that cheap? But your heart knows. Yield to your heart. Kingsley said, even if you don't understand it, behave it. <laughs> Everybody is shouting, you, you are just standing. Try and do it. Before you can start in the flesh, you will end up in the spirit. <laughs> behave it. If you stand amongst intelligent people and they are talking, how do other intelligent people? Mm, mm, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you understand me? So if you are a fool and you stand in front of professors, you to be doing, say something, Chinto. Say the problem with Nigeria. Um, the present problem with Nigeria is the fact that uh, when they sit down mm. in the castle, mm. they are I see your what point. Mm. <laughs> Kingsley, King so you to say your own now. Then, then the fool will say, mm, I also see your point. So Ezekiel, say your own. They can't hear you now. Hmm. I also see your point. Jerry. Yes, yes, today. Hmm. I see your point. I see your point. By the time you see their point, all of them will still think you are the greatest professor. <laughs> a fool is, is, is a fool till he opens his mouth. So behave it. Just do. Mm, mm. <laughs> when people are praising, I beg, just behave it. Why do you want to die before your time? It's Ecclesiastes. Don't die before your time. When people are laughing, laugh. If you don't laugh, that's why you are sick. That's why people like Kingsley said he went to Kerubu and Serafu. You know those people there? The, every service, pakri poki, pakri poki, pakri poki, pakri poki, pakri poki. Then when you dance, Jehovah, 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 Jehovah. Mm -hmm. When you come out, they start saying, okay, that back ache has gone. It's not anointing. It's exercise. <laughs> so instead of waiting for them to induce you with exercise, cuckoo laugh when everybody is laughing. Some people don't laugh till they reach church. They say, laugh. <laughs> At home, they say, honey, how are you? Hmm. Will you come out? Hmm. Will you eat cornflakes? Hmm. 
Yesterday, God made us laugh. We say, how many times have you sworn that Kai, after hearing a message on unforgiveness, all of us swear that Kai, that's Kai, 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 I'm a fool. I've been living in unforgiveness. I forgive everybody, everybody, only for you to enter your car with your wife. You have sworn you will not keep malice like this, like this. You have not reached the gate. She said, honey, you should have gone that way. Didn't you notice that they opened that way? And then she didn't say anything more. You reach home. She said, are you ready to eat now? <laughs> it's you that just swore now that you will not live in unforgiveness. So James said there are ten commandments. If you break one, you are broken all. So there is no hope, can I? Both the pastor and the man of God stand up, sir. You are the man of God. Ah, my, yeah, pastor, yeah, hey. so, no, sir. Yeah, my wife knelt down. Well done, pastor. We were fighting. <laughs> then we entered the church. This was the one that really finished me. Sit down, sir. Then the pastor began to preach. Live in the spirit. Don't grieve the Holy Spirit with whom you are sealed. Bear fruit. The fruit of the spirit. The spirit. The spirit. And he finished service with a powerful hymn. Jesus, keep me near the cross. <laughs> and we sang it all. In the cross. In the cross, Baba. We were adding the one that the songwriter didn't add. Then immediately we entered the car. So don't open it. Make it say that one. Say it again. Then I asked myself, even the word of God didn't even shift you. Then she said, even me, I knew that we must continue this fight and I'm ready today. Well, if we will die, let's die. Two of us. <laughs> we came fighting. The word of God came. Prayer worship move of the spirit we they did everything and we flowed with the church in fact some people were telling they were thinking my god is the fate of chris and Anne that is keeping me in this church they are such a holy couple and we entered the car i said honestly unless my mama no bomb me today when we enter the house what well, lies like you have nothing make it's an lali maki bugu in kirga maki rankwasi <laughs> and she just sat down. Uh huh. Is that not what you said last week? You know, my greatest mistake when I wanted to marry, I thought that I would marry one small, petite girl so that when I bring her to the house, if I just wake up in the morning and say, ah, they say, oh, sorry, here's your tea, here's egg, here's meat, here's chicken. <laughs> if I had known, I'd have gone to Goliath's house to marry his sister. Because all of you that are wasting your time marrying slim, slim, slim girl is a lie. One night she will wake you up. My own just woke me up. So I, I woke up, 2 a.m., and me, I thought, even if she wants to fight, she will fight in the afternoon when the door is open and she can run out. 2 a.m., we have locked the house, locked everything, the bedroom too locked. She said to me, I want to talk to you. So I said, I said what? Me, is there anything wrong? She said, I'm not cool down now. I'm the one who said, I want to talk to you. I go, Father Abeni, just talk me. So I sat up, I said, okay, what is it? I thought she was going to ask me to explain Luke chapter 2. Then she looked at me. She didn't talk, stand up. She looked at me squarely in my eye. This is her height. <laughs> Are you following me? She said, You are not my father. Can I do you talk? They call you Dado, but you are not my father. I get your point. <laughs> and you are not my senior brother. I'm not your daughter. So all this shouting you are shouting in the house, I think you should stop. <laughs> you know 
those emojis on your phone. You know there's one that does like this. <laughs> and you know there's one, his eyes like this. I was that one, my eye was like this. <laughs> then when she finished, you know what she said? To Nagama. That she's finished. And she turned around and after three minutes I just had She was already sleeping. Meanwhile, me, I just, morning just came. This I sat till tomorrow. Then I understood why elders in my village, they always suffer brain damage. When an elder is passing, your brother is Samson, ba? Then they are passing. So greet me, say, well done, Baba. Ah, Samson, how are you? Then tell me it's not Samson. Oh no, what's the difference? <laughs> His wife just finished talking to him. <laughs> you see him walking like a Chinese boss. Yeah, somebody told you that it's not something, it's chin talk. You said there's no difference. Yeah? You know, go to school, you all know, even night school. Sin talk better, I mean, Kingsley better pass you. <laughs> There's difference between sa and chin. <laughs> There's difference. It's brain damage. When your wife talks to you, sometimes you enter into your, your medulla oblongata goes to Japan. So listen to me. Let us wrap up this. So what is faith? Stand up. Sit down. Stand up. Why did you stand on your legs? Because you understand the language. And you understand. When I said stand up, it painted a picture. That's why you are on your legs. You can't be sitting. You can't be standing while sitting. It means you don't understand. So what is faith, sir? Understanding God's word. And making decisions that are informed on what you saw. Bartimaeus was sitting down. They told him. I never see this kind of thing. Brand new eyes in holes, empty sockets. But he may say, Who did it? They say, Oh, man, his name is Jesus. Then they said, Today, in a while, but he may say, What? Ten lepers. He just shouted to them at the junction and said, Go to church and show yourself. And they were all cleaned on the road. But he may have said, Who? They said, Jesus. Then one day he heard footsteps. Pra, 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 marching. And he said, what is happening? They say, it's Jesus passing. When he heard that, he stood up. He said, which Jesus? The one, they said yes. The one, they said yes. The one, they said yes. As they were saying that, he was removing his Agbada. Because his Agbada was his begging uniform. He resigned from begging. Hey. Oh, oh. Jesus had not spoken to him. He had resigned. He knew it. See. If he said to them, take me to him, they would say, nobody knows where he is today. Oh, he's like the window. Yesterday he was in Nazareth. The other day he was in Gadara. So who's going to carry you? And he's blind, so he can't find his way. Now they say he's passing by. The woman with the issue of blood said, all I need is what? A torch. But he may removed his garment. I'm not begging anymore. And he started shouting, Je Jesus! As they were telling him to cool down, he was shouting the more. He was violating protocol. What is really wrong with you is that you have not been able to see enough to create actions, actionable points out of what you have seen. But tonight, God has healed the things you carry inside and the things you see on the outside. God has married them together. Tonight, I put you on the same page with Jesus. You, you will believe the things he has offered. That's what's called the power of an endless life. This life that is flowing before you is endless. This priesthood that you carry gives you access to it. You can tap into it. You can drink it in the morning, in the afternoon, in the night. A pharmacist doesn't give you a prescription until he has given you the drugs. He can't tell you take two panadol in the morning, two in the afternoon, two in the night when he has not given you. That there is a priest walking by 
and then all of us have access to append ourselves to it just connect throw your hook catch your fish throw your cup draw your water on nothing should you stagger that's what was meant when they said abraham did not stagger the promises of god are you following me i said are you following me fake pregnancies are dead by reason of light that fatherless spirit is being bound by reason of insight are you following me don't say somebody provoked me eh -eh. it was just the provocation is not what led you to scatter everything what really led you to scatter everything was despondency you just woke up and felt you are useless if you know you have a father can you feel you are useless no. ah please please it's a fatherless spirit satan visits him on us every time and you are i'm not immune neither are you immune to it there's nowhere you reach down in your walk with god where you say i'm so matured that satan cannot is a lie is a lie in fact you know the ten commandments they were not meant for man to keep it Romans said that the righteous demands of the law no man could keep the ten commandments were not given for Israel to keep it you know why as they were giving it hold the tablet Moses stand here this is the ten commandments as he was coming down, he heard shouting in the camp. Do you understand me? The people had broken the commandments. So he himself in anger smashed, don't smash the tablet. He in anger did what? He broke the, because they had broken it already. And he has not yet showed them. The Ten Commandments, no human being can keep it. You pastor that is trying to tell everybody that you are righteous. The thing is waiting for you. Just one small turn today. And you'll be flat on the ground. Then you will now know that what made you a pastor is not because you have kept all the commandments. There is nobody that keeps them. The rich young ruler said, I have kept all of them. Jesus looked at you and said, hey, I like you, you're a funny boy. The Bible said he loved him. And then Jesus said, okay, keep the one that if you keep, all the ten are kept. Love the Lord with all your heart. Don't share your heart with anything apart from God. Not even a corona. Because those little, little viruses in the heart that are small like corona, they are the deadliest. They are like yeast. A little leaven leavens the whole. And the guy said, Kai, that one is haro. Do you get what I'm saying? The laws were given to reveal to you how unfaithful, disloyal, and disjointed you are. The, the, the laws were given so you know the distance between you and God. How far you fell. That's why the laws were given. Then you will seek the door. Jesus, the open door. And let me close with this. Every one of you should know this today. If you find yourself struggling, there's something you have stopped doing. The thing you have stopped doing, go back to it. It is called soul winning. Every one of you remember when you first got born again. We asked one of the brothers in prayer yesterday, what are the things you used to do? He said immediately he got born again that week. He printed his story in campus, printed it into a magazine size, kind of, and told the story of his life. Do you understand me? And how the Lord has saved him. And they shared it in campus. He said their fellowship was, they were increasing by maybe four, five, six members per week because of his testimony. So I asked him now, years after if I should read that story and I stand now and I'm teaching it and you are here would you be embarrassed he said ah, yes sir ah. he shared the story as a baby the campus was on fire now he feels he's a matured believer if I tell the story of what he was not what he is now should be he's born again now he said it will embarrass me so I said that's the problem 
So anytime you find anything stranded, go for souls. And don't organize crusade. Do it the way you used to do it. When you meet people, let them hear your joy bubbling forth. That bubbling is what is called the Nabi, Nabi. That is what the houses use as Anabi, the Arabs, Anabi. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's the prophetic. It's the bubbling. You are just bubbling to tell any tongue, girl, you know what Jesus did for me? You are bubbling to ask Chin Tok, where will you spend eternity? You are bubbling to say, have you found him, the true and the living? That's all. It's just a bubble. If that bubble has dried, or if there is a canopy over it that stops it from rising, that's the problem. That's the disconnect. Contracts, they are not to be chased. They pursue you. It's the word of God. It's not a lie. Some people by now are upset with me because we have not taken offerings. See, I, I, I didn't start this thing today. I didn't start it today. And I'm not poor. So why don't you just for a minute drop your reasons and just embrace this way. I don't advertise myself. What, what pleasure do I have in Chinto calling me my father? For what? I mean, oh, Kingsley. For what? 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 what do I derive from it? Nothing. I need friends. I don't need children. When I'm climbing the stage, Chintok helps me. I, I need him to know he has strength that I want to draw from. All these inferiority problems that you have, that, that you, you want your ego to be massaged. Say, my daddy. Your daddy what? Go and marry Bump Fikin. Stop wasting anybody's time. That one, daddy for life. My son is driving me. I just give him punch. Boy! He said, Daddy, your hand is hot. I said, yes. Now me burn you. I can punch you. And if you think evil against me, even small like this, 10,000 year course is on top of you and your children. So he must arrange his heart, even when I'm punching him. <laughs> That's what I do for Tim Talk. I'll call him 2 a.m. I say, yeah, what's happening then? He says, sir, sir. He's trying to tell me I'm sleeping. That's when I'm getting more excited. Ah, how was service today? <laughs> then he has to wake up by force and tell me, well, lie today, sir. If you see the children, the way they, the way they were worshiping. I said, send me the pictures now, now, now. Then when he sends it, well, after I've woken up everything from the crown of his head to the zoo, I say, okay, Kumaka, but she, sorry, it's late. It's late. Go and sleep. It's a generational cause. <laughs> me is, is, is old age that is disturbing me. Sometimes I can't sleep. So I transfer the high blood pressure to him. Yes. Why should I be sleepless and then he will be sleeping? <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? Uh, it's wrong. Let me, let me read. I will read the last few statements for you. Are you following me? So, win souls. And when you win souls, you can only win souls when you tell them the gospel. And the gospel is, is, is not, is not uh, what you thought it was. One of my greatest challenges was to find ignorant Christians. It, it so upset me. Christians don't even know the good news. The gospel is called good news. But you cannot tell the good news down until you can tell the bad news. And the gospel usually starts with the bad news. We shared it yesterday, and one girl met me and said, Thank you, sir. That's the problem with my brother. His life is so unstable, and I've not known what to say to him. They were youth coppers. Now, this is the gospel. You tell them the bad news. The bad news is what I just told you. No man can keep the Ten Commandments. So all of us have sinned and fallen short. In fact, what is called sin is fallen short. When you fall short, Hamatia, that means you miss the mark. Let's say me and Dan come. We are, we are archers. Shoot your arrows. Shoot ten of them. Then nine get. Then the last one say, oh, you missed. 
Once you miss the mark, James says, even if it is in one and you got nine, you have fallen short. If I shoot nine and I miss and I get with one, I have fallen short. So the person who has transgressed or trespassed in nine and the person who trespassed in one, antaruan lalati. That's what James is saying. So that no man can enter except by grace. And the grace is that Jesus says you are accepted. That's the bad news. Tell it to anybody. Oh boy, we are all finished. Because if you meet somebody and say you are a sinner, he will start to argue. Ask him, have you ever lied? Have you ever stolen? Have you ever thought evil thoughts against somebody? Have you ever backbeat, back, back, backbeat somebody? Have you gossiped? Have you? We are all sinners. Do you think evil thoughts? We are all sinners. That's the gospel. And every sinner is going to the lake of fire. Who is wearing red? Somebody wearing red. Come quickly. Come quickly. Climb up. Climb up. That's the lake of fire. Stand here. Yes. There. There. Yes. It's the lake of fire. You see? This lake of fire is not hell. That's our problem. We mix words anyhow. Yeah. Say so you are going to hell. And somebody is saying, yeah, if it's hell, we are all in hell. Are <laughs> because you're not going to hell. Hell is Satan's office. All of us here are living in hell. Have you ever lost a mother or a father? And you were sitting under aircon. And then they said, mama died. And you started sweating. And then you say, what a hell. It means hell visited you. Hell is also an atmosphere. Oh my God. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, he's a liar. Where is he? In hell. Hold me. You are a thief. Where are you? Hold me, hold me. Is hell. She's, he's the prison of everybody that is drunk with the habits that Satan sends. Hell is an imprisoner. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. Now, this lake of fire, God is going to throw Satan inside the lake. God will throw death, the head of iniquity, inside the lake. And hell, the one that was a master at imprisoning people, is also going to the lake. That punishment was designed for the Godhead of iniquity. Death is the father of the Godhead. As we say, our Father in hell, in the lake, I mean, in the pits of darkness, when they say our Father, they are talking about death. Their apostle is Satan, just like Jesus is our own. And hell is their heaven. It's the atmosphere they pipe. These three, this punishment was designed for them. For lack of any word to describe how terrible this is, that's why Christians call it hell fire. Now listen, this is the good news. The good news is this. Nobody by his good works will find himself in heaven. So stop laughing at people, especially you wives whose husband is on the street. Don't begin to think that you are righteous and you are okay. And you are always telling, okay, look at you. See the life you are living. I'm really sorry for you. See you all. No, 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 no. That's why he's not saved. What you are telling him is that you have fulfilled the righteous requirements of the law. And he sees you keep malice. He sees you speak. Do you understand what I'm saying? So he's thinking, I beg, I beg, we're in the same soup, I beg, just cool it. Now, we are all headed to the lake of fire with Satan. But the good news is, God cannot stand you, his son, making it to the lake of fire. Because he gave birth to you. What's your son's name? Ugo. No. What sin can Ugo commit that you will cut him off? Why are you shaking your head? You mean he cannot sin any sin? He can, bro. You for he can, but I'll forgive him. Has he broken your costly plate? <laughs> like a thousand times over, yes. A thousand times. Costly plate. Yes. There are some friends you have cut off for less offenses. <laughs> no. Do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> and Ugo can break. Has he... 
I don't want to say this one. Let's not spoil Lugo's name. Because <laughs> me, I, I, do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So, it's the same thing with you. That's why I said today is the night of recovery of treasure. Your soul is the first treasure. To know that he na- left 99, 99 self, I mean, solid, healthy souls to pursue you. That's to tell you how valuable you are. Amen. Are you following me? So God cannot stand you. Yeah. So Dan, come. Lie down in front of iniquity. I mean of the lake of fire. Climb up. Just lie straight. Move back. He's tall so he should find space. Yeah, lie across his legs. Yeah, there. Uh-huh. Now, Pastor Jerry, this is the son, one of God's sons. Jerry, go. Climb up. This is what, this, this is what, this is the good news. The good news is we are all headed for the lake of fire. But God cannot stand any of us. Jerry, come here. He can't stand any of us going to the lake of fire. So turn around. Even if you are going, the last thing you will see before the lake of fire is the dead body of his son. So God is the one that invented the saying, over my dead body. So go, go to the lake, Jerry. When you... Can you match the son? You see him on the cross. Do you see him up there? That's him on the cross. That was why his body was slain. It was not just to forgive sin. It was to put the last reason why nobody should have the gods. So they say, you are inexcusable, O oh man. And then they ask, how can you forsake such a salvation? When you present the gospel like this, nobody, you're never born out. Match the, the son and enter Jerry. Can you? Oh, you see the point? When you reach there, this is God lying down. He says, where the carcass is, the vultures will gather. This is the gospel that makes the eagles gather to you. It's not any effort. Whether you fast, whether you pray, whether you give offerings or not, it is the gospel that draws. Nothing else draws. This is the good news. That nobody needs to go to the lake of fire. It was not designed for men born of a woman. Because each one of us, God has a record of us in his womb. He knew us before our mothers. He knit us secretly and quietly. All our sinews are written in a book. That's why if it's a nervous breakdown, God has extra sets. He can recreate your nervous system. It is muscular challenges. I'm calling these things now, receive your healing. If it's muscular degeneration, he has extra muscles. The day he needs you, he knows the specifics of your muscles. If it is eyes, he has thousands, look, of the same eye he made for you. And you know, no two of us have the same eye. That's why when you go to uh, uh, embassies now, they take pictures of your iris because it's uniquely you. If it's paralysis, he, he has extra legs, hands, fingers, everything. Even as I'm speaking, I'm receiving my healing. Livers kidneys, pancreases, everything, stomachs, eaten up by ulcer, chemical imbalances in your blood, diabetics, I mean, everything, leukemia, blood cancer, everything, he has already created your blood, your particular blood, is not the same as everybody's blood. People have died because they gave them the wrong blood. So your own specific blood with the specific amount of salt, the special unique taste, God has it in jerry cans. No man needs to go to the lake of fire. If you are making that decision tonight, you can just get up from where you are and come to the altar and just kneel down and talk to him and thank him while I close with these listen next month from this month every time we come 
we're going to do two days. And you have already agreed. If you are stirred up in your spirit to support us. Because he told me the Congress Hall of Transcom. That's why I've not gone anywhere. I'm not trying to show money. No. When I came in four days ago, Kobo, I didn't have. In the past one week, people had all kinds of problems. And I had to minister to them. I flew from Lagos. I came to Abuja, missed the flight to Yola. Flew to Lagos. Immediately, I missed the flight to go and take care of fire there. Then I flew from Lagos to Yola to go and quench a fire. Then I flew back here to come and quench a fire. Not related to these things. By the time I returned from Kaduna to come and do the meeting, I was spent. And I was looking at Pastor Jerry and Pastor Baba. I wanted to tell them this meeting will not hold. I said, let's go and eat breakfast. We were eating breakfast in the Hilton. Normally when I have a room, I can eat free breakfast. But now that I didn't have a room yet, I was going to pay about 9,000 naira per plate. And we ate. Because in my mind, I was going to tell them after we finished that the meeting will not hold. And then Pastor Baba came and he already went and booked a room for me and then told them that, yes, I'm around. I'm coming to pay for the hall. But there was no money. Then he turned, sent me a text and said, I've still not received my ticket. She didn't know why she had not received her ticket. So it's not magic. And yet, it's better than magic. I'm just trying to tell you raw faith, real faith, true faith. The only faith. And then we sat down. They came to pray with me. And as we were praying, God said, tell them, tell them, I'm coming in to train them in the things in which I've trained you. My name is Wanda. He said, it's going to be in our midst. I didn't tell any of these people until somebody shouted, the Lord in your midst is mighty. Did you hear? Did you hear when they said that he's in our midst? They were, they were talking to me. That was when I told you. To, I, said, I said, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to go up. Wonder means he does wondrous things. But that's an adjective. But more than that, he is a noun. The noun, the wonder. Unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. His name shall be called who? Wonder. That's his name. Oh my God. I'm excited for you tonight. Because you lasted till now to hear these words. So if, if you want to be a part of making sure that we come every month, it's, it's not, we don't have to beat you. We don't have to move offering baskets. There will be a basket as you are going, a bag at the door. And just, you know, honor God. You don't sponsor the ministry. Just partner with God. Who does monkey banana? What do you want to sponsor? The dead body that is there is already the price for everything. But you can partner. It's a privilege. So partner. And don't ask me how much do we need. Just partner. Let your giving cover up for the inadequacies of others. There are people living tonight. They wish they had, but they don't. So you to act like a prince. Stop gauging what others will give. At least nobody here can give 5,000. So let me give 10. So you, you look at me to see me. You see me finish. The president of Equa. I was with him in uh, Mina a few weeks ago. Honorable Umar's mother passed. And he said something that day. I cannot forget Mina. And I'm coming to Mina in April. Miss April will do that meeting. The Lord told me today, we're taking the stadium in Mina. We want to gather all the baggies and remind ourselves what Jesus did in Mina for over 100 years. All of you that register tonight and give your names, you've given us permission to invite you. And you will come. Will be in the stadium. He's the Honorable Commissioner of Youth and Sports for Niger State. And we are going there. Now, when we finish with Mina, we are coming to Abuja. In Abuja, we are going to bring 
baggies from Nasarawa, from FCT, from Mina, from Kaduna, from everywhere, they will come. We want to clean, stop the stadium. Not to make a name. It's a God-given mandate. I heard Reverend Baba Panya say, Let me read it to you. Where is my pocket? I'm, is it? Do you see it imprinted? Do you see it imprinted? It's, it's, it's bigger than the other ones. Do you see it? Do you see this line imprinted? Okay. That's how I wrote it. Chintok. Any man is immortal till he has accomplished the father's will in his life he was reading a quotation stand up down the quotation says man is immortal until he has accomplished the father's purpose in his life did you get that yeah. you know what i heard that man is indestructible yeah. if his assignment is to fulfill yeah. the will of the father and his life yes. financial mountains cannot destroy you until you have fulfilled emotional mountains psychological mountains man and Man, man, both man and woman is generic. Whoa. I heard him quote it. I said, What did this man say? Then he said, Let me repeat it again. That man is immortal until he has accomplished the purpose of the father in his life. He read it like English. I didn't hear anything again. The funeral of your mother became a wedding. I was just sitting down. It could have been a wedding. It could have been anything. That was all. That I am indestructible. Yeah. As long as I am pursuing the fulfillment of my father's yeah. will. That I am pressed on every side. But I am not cast down. That I am harassed. But I am not perplexed. I don't suffer from depression. That they question me, they mock me. Cynicism and every kind of vituperations are poured on me. But I'm undeterred. Nay, in all of these things. That's the power of an endless life. I'm more than a conqueror. I'm immortal. I saw people leaving this meeting and recreating their lives as they were walking to the gate. They were saying, this is out, that is out, this is in, that is in. They were changing their life. I saw it. I saw people lose two-thirds of their size, both physical and spiritual, just to fit into the new mold. I saw it. Oh, I've been excited. Every man, you are immortal, indestructible unstoppable nothing can wipe away the moment you have found his will and his will is his word revealed the moment you decide tonight I have heard enough or I have heard something tonight shame dishonor disgrace of every kind he dies tonight he's dead all you need to do is invoke it. Man is what? Immortal, indestructible, unstoppable. His fire unquenchable until he has fulfilled the purpose that he has found. Now, listen to me. The purpose of God is in his word. Are you now going to be studying only when they say let's study? Reading the word of God is not a chore. It's just your delight. I said tonight we are miners. We are excavators. 
We will not stop till we have found the water that Abraham found. Our Abraham is Jesus. Whatever gave him 100% victory in his ministry, we anchor to it tonight. From now on, every time we say see, we receive it. Rise up everybody and don't go out. Just rise up. Lift up your hands. Repeat the things that you have heard today. That you are immortal. Stop anybody at the doors. Nobody leaves. Just say it. That I am indestructible. I am unstoppable. As long as I am pursuing the fulfillment of the Father's will in my life. To say it tonight I'm untouchable I can't be seen I'm invisible and then I'm invincible in battle I'm supernatural I am indomitable I'm indescribably so I heard these words a few weeks ago and they just changed my life everything we have been able to achieve in the past two weeks has been anchored on this reality man is immortal as long as he has found the father's will and is committed to fulfilling it you are unstoppable every vision every assignment is completed all your enemies are vanquished a thousand on your left ten thousand on your right eleven thousand slain and what is killing them is not coming naive. Death is conquered. Swallowed up in victory. Now nobody needs to tell you shout. A roar arises from the inside of you. Naturally. I said naturally. Naturally. The lion cannot be caged. Not anymore. A lion escaped from Kano Zoo. And one Kano man, they were interviewing him. He said, Wallahi, Tallahi, Arukul, Aning, Allah, let me swear by everything. He said, No eye in Kano will sleep till that lion is found. A lion just escaped from the zoo. The man swore and said, By the Holy Quran and by anything, he said, Wallahi, sleep has been murdered in Kano until that lion is found. Where the government was telling people that they should take it easy and be calm, that they will soon find the lion. The man said, which calm? He said, nobody is going to be calm until they find the lion. That lion is inside of you. Until that lion is let loose, don't give yourself sleep. Just meditate on this. Whatever your problem is, meditate on this. That you are immortal. As long as you have found it and you are pursuing it. You are immune. There's nothing Satan can do about you. Oh my goodness. And you are still waiting for what? If you are not filled with the Holy Ghost, be filled. I said be filled just open your mouth and begin to, to just just gush forth be filled with the Holy Spirit and if you get him begin to rejoice and give him thanks speak with a new tongue He's already upon you. Beli heli amada kosein baraya. Shato logo benamako sabida. Let the high praises of God be in your mouth and a two-edged sword on your hand. Bless him.
The lost priest has been recovered. The lost priesthood. Chintok began to say, he has been recovered. And it's not recovered so that you will have a better bed, a bigger bed, more supply of food. No man lights a candle and hides it for pleasure. You lift it up so that it will shine its light. So all in darkness can see. You have recovered your soul winning. Soul winning. You have recovered it. Your lost sheep has been found. Your lost treasure has been found. Your dignity, your honor, your virginity is restored. Now your soul is fairer than 10,000 to him. You know how much he loves you, but he is also fairer than 10,000 to you. You have found your true lover. No more wandering, no more malingering. Melchizedek said to Abraham, Blessed be Abraham of God Most High. That word off, off means you are his offspring. He gave birth to you. You are not human, carnal, you are spiritual. You are sons of God. Everything God has, you have. Everything God is, you are. You have been stranded for too long. Your release is now. And we heard, rain upon me, O God. And the rain of the Spirit is falling. It has been falling since this service began. He's the one running after you. Chasing after you. And it um, proclaimed it so eloquently. The rain of the Spirit is here. Upon you. You are revived. You are not going to be revived. Revival is not in the future. It's here now. He's restored you in power. Now you can proclaim this restoration. You can proclaim your relationship with your father. Drop that phone call and talk to him. Drop those thoughts that are wasting your time. Receive this. He is the God of all seasons. He was God in January, God in February, March, April, May, till December. The God yesterday, the God today, and the God forever. But that's how you are too. You are an all-season person. You are a multi-purpose tool. You are a screwdriver. You are a star screwdriver. You are a knife. You are a razor blade. You are anything God. For every situation, you are perfect. Your God is an all-purpose God. And you are an all-purpose tool. You deserve him and he deserves you. God is timeless. Tonight, I declare to you, you are timeless. This night, he's not just bringing the future. He's bringing the former and the latter, the reigns together, today at once. Don't just thank him for restoring past things. Thank him for bringing the future. He's bringing the former and the latter together. Liberty is here. Freedom is here. Victory is here. Your release is here. You are escaped. You have escaped. 
I said you are escaped. Today your hunter will go home hungry. Your soul is free. There will be joy in your house, but there is sorrow in his house. You have escaped. The snare is broken. Fear not, rather rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, rejoice. Like cows that have been fed in a stall, skip, jump, rejoice, shout, runs. is killing us is we have not declared the gospel we're already trying to make the gospel uh, to be com comfortable to, we're trying to make the gospel a gospel that the world will be comfortable with so we are looking for what they call a crossover gospel both in teaching and in music nobody sent you when you are doing crossover gospel, make sure you cross over with the cross. Don't leave the cross behind. There's a cross I asked them to put up for us. Link up your hands, all of us. When you link up your hands like this, that cross is not a piece of wood and another a cross. No, 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 no. Where, where, where is the cross? Yes, put it. You see that cross? You see how many trees were put together? How many pieces of wood were put together? It's me and you, all of us, we were in the cross. Are you following me? This is the cross I want to build in my house. This is the cross I want to build in my ministry. This is the cross I want to put in my heart. This is the cross I want to give to the world. To say to him, to them, we were in him. This cross is in is in North Carolina. Billy Graham put it together. You are in the cross. That's your story. Your sins are there. Your victory comes from there. That's the the who the the server of life oozes out of this. You cannot sleep. When you have not shared the gospel, how dare you? How dare you? For me, tell somebody this good news. Remain in the cross. Don't make it to the lake of fire. Warn the world. This is your greatest opportunity. In all of the earth, everybody is suffering from corona. There are nations that are known for all kinds of gods. Only Donald Trump said today is the day of prayer Saudi Arabia, Iran India Buddha, Hindu nobody and the world is unanimous in mocking who told you the rapture will not happen every political case that we thought if they don't solve it we will die they are, they, 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 we have not died. People can't travel. So political matter can't be solved. Everybody has cooled down. 
in Italy, they showed them opening windows and singing from their windows to each other. The whole nation has become calm. The Bible said it, that the ox and the wolf will dwell together. Peace has come by force. The rat race has ended. All the f f stock trading businesses are down by 10%, 12%. Billions wiped out and people are happy. They would rather lose money than get corona. It's only 50 something thousand people oh, worldwide that have died. And we are acting as if one million has died. My friends, the Bible is true. The warning signs are there for us. The last meeting, I asked Agatha to greet us and she began to talk to us about the rapture and the inevitability of the end. And she said, let's not take it for granted. Yeah. Sir, that was prophecy. Two weeks after, we were all running from corona. My wife is in England with my daughter. She told me, she said, I'm, hey, I'm coming home. A woman went to visit her daughter in the same university with my daughter and she ran back home and I said she left the daughter. My wife said yes. That she didn't even think about it because she too wanted to come back and leave my daughter there. Corona can divide family. They harassed Donald Trump, harassed him. Oh, they told him everybody that met him, CNN wants to kill that man and the Democratic Party. They say, ah, that the president of Brazil visited him. And that the press secretary of the president of Brazil has corona, so he must test. And you know why? They said because the press secretary sat with President Trump. Can you imagine? The president of Brazil came. Then his press secretary, who has corona, they said he, he sat with Trump. Where was the president of Brazil for the press secretary to sit with Trump? Does it make sense? Now they have tested him and they said he is negative. Listen, much more is going to happen. Delta Airlines canceled 50% of their flights in America, domestic flights. You don't know what that means. The way they fly in America is more than Nigeria. Aircraft flew all over America without a passenger, just the crew and the pilot. He said they will beat their swords into plowshares. We are doing it now. Oil has collapsed. Our minister of finance announced to us today that the projected income from oil was going to be $39 billion. That now if we get $14 billion, we should thank God. Nobody even knows how long this thing will last. But we are the church. We stopped it. I told them we break bread and we broke it. And from our little corner in Kaduna, we stopped it worldwide. That's what you must do when you get to your house. Take bread and take wine. Coke, if you don't have wine. Tea, if you don't have Coke. Water, if you don't have tea. Then break bread together with your wife and children. And declare corona you have ended from this house to the ends of the earth he said it must start from jerusalem all judea samaria then the uttermost parts of the earth and we will say that you are good that's what you are going to say immediately after that hallelujah the earth is not endangered as long as you are here. You are the liberator. You are the emancipator. You are the freedom bringer. Exercise that authority. Have no fear concerning our nation. The year is too fast for the troublemakers of our nation. God has quickened the pace. We are the only ones that can oscillate to his frequency. 
open your mouth. <sighs> See, God has satisfied you with a new song, Amen. with a new sound, Amen. with new vigor. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to thank all of you that came. If you didn't register, I'd like you to make sure you register because we want to reach you directly. I want to reach you directly. And the next time we come, on Saturday, we're going to have maybe like three sessions of the word. Maybe like from four to eight or nine. And then we'll just have short breaks inside. And it will be such, such, such teaching that you can, you can ask questions. He didn't send me to make you rich in terms of money. Because that's rubbish. I bring things that are higher. A son, Kai, Tintok, the pro prodigal son, he left home wearing the ring of the youngest son of his father. In his prodigality, all he had was the ring of the last born. He didn't have the ring of the first born. But when he returned, the father fell on him and gave him whose ring? The father's ring. Oh my goodness. I saw that yesterday. I ran in my room. Sir, you have been prodigal. I have news for you. You can go prodigal 10,000 times more. Your father will still have enough to give you. <laughs> Knowing this, therefore, beat your swords to plowshares. Kiss the son. Let him be angry. How can in your return from sin, God is giving you his own ring? The father. That was why the senior brother was angry. One boy saw the way I shared the testimony of my life and he knew my story. He came to me, he said, I just had to come and see you, sir. I said, what happened? He said, I decided to leave my wife. I said, why? He said, because I don't have a testimony like you. So I want to start sleeping around so that I can get a testimony like you. Because when you preach, you make examples of yourself. So I said, so where is your wife? He said, I left her. Or I told her already. And she couldn't stop me. So I traveled to you. If I tell you where he's coming from, you will know the person. So I won't tell you. And I said to him, you're a monkey. <laughs> I said, there are two testimonies in the Bible. Two sides of a coin. Some of us, our graph is like this, like this, like this. Unstable as the waters. You will not exhale. But some of us, our testimony is straight up. So keep your own. Tell the testimony of your life. Me, I got filled with the Holy Ghost from my mother's womb. That's John the Baptist story. No recorded sin against him in the Bible. So that we too can be the other side. You, it's by grace you made it like that. We too, by grace, we were... By, it's okay, catch me his country. Well, he left his wife. He wants, and he already got girls in church. So he said they are ready, but he didn't have the courage. He wants to talk to me first. <laughs> then I said, we were in the airport in Lagos, and I was standing with Panam. And then one woman was saying to Panam, she said... Ah, you people are lucky. You, you never sinned like this Chris Delvan. When he's singing like the Holy Spirit, she said, the, she just said me, I smoked, I shark Igbo, I did many, many things. So Panam said, who are you saying thank God for Chris? She said, do you know this man? She said, Abba, Abba, Abba. So he should leave it there. What is it? Small, small lies that I tell. Is that uh, something? Panam said, yeah. this man the girl didn't, so I told Panam, I said, why are you wasting your time? She's just giving testimony to the efficacy of the transforming power of the word of God. It's transformed my life. Some people can't believe. That's what he has done for us tonight. You will get up and share your message. And people are going to swear you are lying. That's how perfectly he has restored you. You are not wearing the ring of the last born. 
You are not wearing the ring of the firstborn. You are wearing the father's ring. I have his name. Let's hold hands and share the grace of fellowship. To all of you that came, my friends, the, the badgers are here. I'll just greet them. And then all of you, all of you, great men and women of God. Let me not break protocol so you don't get upset and say, I didn't call your name. I called my brother's name. He's my friend. He's my brother. His wife is my sister. and my wife. He, I won't say if he dies, but if he makes a mistake, we will collect her and to tell him in the grave that we're helping him take care uh, of what he left behind. Hallelujah. But they are close. They are my family. So, so, so you get what I'm saying? I don't think we have been in a meeting like this for over 20 years. I don't think so with them. He was here at the last meeting. Today he brought his darling. So permit me to greet my family. But for all of you that came, honestly, my heart, the joy that is in my heart doesn't know any bound. When you come in April, April we are going to knock down those walls and fill up this entire place. How many of you agree? So don't come alone. Pay for people to enter bus from Karu to here and tell the boss to come back that when you close you will call them so you call them 30 minutes and then they start coming by that time when i say to you i'm closing you know it's two more hours <laughs> hallelujah and please when you give tonight give very generously I, I saw one brother come with a word here you know if you are giving it here i'll have to stand here and guard it no but at the door they are, they are. are you ready? Yeah, yeah, so at the door. Make sure you go out through this door. Police, lock that door. Because some people will go out through here so that they don't give. I'm only joking. It has to be free will. If you want to pay for it, just give us three, four million. And we, don't, we won't disturb anybody. In fact, we'll tell everybody to just go home. Were you blessed by the ministry of Kingsley EK? Yes. Ah. Were you blessed by the ministry of Chinto Kishaku? Yes. Were you blessed by the ministry of Jerry Lawrence? Were you blessed by the ministry of Rosemary and Juice and Grace? Were you blessed by our sister, Anita Adaba? You are going to come back to Kaduna and then to here. She's breathing hard. Because even this one, let's thank God for her husband and the children. God has so, so blessed us. So all of you are going to get invited to me and Honorable Commissioner Omar's campaign. We're going to Mina. Adadu, you must come home. You drive moto, come there. If you sleep for inside moto, now you shall be, we will sleep inside the cars. But we must go and take Mina. How many of you agree? And then you will follow me to Kafanchan and to Kagoro. Massive crusade. No big joke. If you hang around mad people like Jesus, you will know that you cannot sponsor his ministry. Because when Jesus begins, they make demand for you. Even yourself, your pocket go bow. You will say, oh boy, now money did they spend like this? <laughs> All of you, they will worry about bread and butter. We don't pass that level. On DJ, they argue for all internet. Say tight is not necessary. Now ten percent in they argue about it. Some of us don't pass ten. We don't pass thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. One day I told people, if my wife knows my giving, we for don't divorce. There's a general one we give together as family. But I tell, even when we go to church, we don't sit in front with my wife when I passed on I spoil them. When we reached church, I used to tell them, everybody for yourself, after service, we're a family. Because if your wife doesn't want to give, your giving can save the family. If your husband is stingy, your giving can save the family. So how far are you going to be waiting for somebody? Give up. Elijah Noah was giving 90% of his income as tight. And he owned private jets in the 30s private jet 
And God was showing him pictures of earth moving equipment in his sleep. And he would draw it and tell his engineers, I saw a car. When it drove up, then it was pushing sand like uh, Gungurakashi. You know that beetle that enters cow dung. Then they said to him, it's a walkable thing. And they called it Tipa. He saw it in a dream. Saw earth moving greater, everything. Saw it in a dream. He was given 90%. And when he died, 10% was still billions. He left for his family. Till today, caterpillar equipment, everything. He owns the patent. Some people say, is it the only prayer that will save us? Let's learn enterprise. You're a fool. Only the fool says in his heart, there's no God. How much did the enterprise did Abraham get, get to meet Melchizedek? Do you know the man? Do you know his father? Do you know his mother? Do you know the name of his village? They said, without father, without mother. Somebody just met you. You gave him tight. Then he put his hand in his pocket, brought a bottle of wine, brought bread, something you didn't know about. He served you communion. Fear God. Don't lose your prayer. That's your thunder. Don't lose your praise. That's your weapon of warfare. Don't carry any crossover gospel. Without the cross, you are finished. So let's share the grace in fellowship together. May the grace and the, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us. Now, don't say let it. Say after me. Say the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God, the Heavenly Father. And the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit is with us now and will remain with us till the end of time. Amen. Please make sure you greet somebody. Thank you.